Question 5, leak code, longest palindromic substring. So given a string S, return the longest palindromic substring in S. So in example 1, we have BABAD, and the output is BAB. So a palindrome reads the same forward as it does backwards, and we need to find the longest palindromic substring within the string S. So here the output is BAB, or it can be ABA. Those two are valid palindromes, and we need to return the substring. Within example 2, we have CBBD, we have BB, which reads the same forwards as backwards, so it is a palindrome, and we just return that answer. So a great way of solving a problem that concerns palindromes is to expand from the center. So we're going to have an ispal help function, which checks if something is a palindrome. And what I mean by expanding from the center, say we have B as our initial position. We check if that's a palindrome. So B on its own reads the same forwards as it does backwards, so that's a palindrome. Then we expand outwards. So we have a left and right pointer here. We expand outwards. Left goes here, right goes here. We check if this is a palindrome. So A is equal to A, it is a palindrome. So we expand outwards again. Left becomes B, right becomes D. These aren't equal, so this is no longer a palindrome. So we can forget that. So that's how we're going to check for palindromes. But the difficult part of this question is we need to find the longest palindrome substring within this sequence. So we need to check, say, if this is the palindrome, if that's the longest palindrome, this is a palindrome, if that's the longest palindrome, if this is a palindrome. So we're going to check for all possible solutions, right? And update a variable, say longest, which will start off initially as an empty string, update that to the longest palindrome substring that we find within this string. So let's run through the example. So as we said, we're going to be expanding from the center. So if we start off at B, we're going to have a left and right pointer here. We check if this is a palindrome. It is a palindrome. So we expand outwards. So we go left and right. So left goes there, right goes there. Left is out of bounds now. So we'll have to add that into the conditional logic of is pal, and we can move along this sequence. So we're now at A. We have the left and right pointer. A is a palindrome, so we expand outwards. So let's start off at B. We have the left and right pointer here. This is a palindrome, so we expand outwards. So left goes here, right goes here. Left is now out of bounds, so we check against the longest string. So B is currently the longest string, so we can add that in there. Now we move along, we start off at A, left and right pointer, that is a palindrome, great. So we can expand outwards, left and right. Is B equal to B? Yes it is, so that's also a palindrome, great. Let's expand outwards. The left pointer is now out of bounds, so we can check to see whether this palindrome, BAB, is greater than this. So it is, so we update the longest to equal BAB, and then we move along in the substring. So we move to B, that is a palindrome, so we expand outwards. A and A are both equal, so that's a palindrome, so we expand outwards. B and D are not equal to each other, so that's not a palindrome. So we look at this value here, ABA, we compare it to the longest length. They're both equal, so there's no need to update this. We move along to A, A is a palindrome, we expand outwards. B is not equal to D, so that's not a palindrome. A's length is not greater than the longest here, so it's not greater than BAB. So we can move along. So at D, D is a palindrome, we expand outwards. Right is out of bounds. D is not greater than BAB. So we exit this. So this is the solution to this example. Now let's have a look at the other example. So let's say we have, so let's check the first one. C is a palindrome, we expand outwards. That is out of bounds. So we can update the longest palindrome substring to equal C. With the solution we used to the previous problem, we check B. B is a palindrome, we expand outwards. C and B, they are not equal, so that's not a palindrome. And that is equal to the length of the longest string, so we don't need to update that. We move over to B. B is a palindrome, we compare B and D. They are not palindromes, so we don't need to update the longest. We go to D. D is a palindrome, so we compare B and a value that's out of bounds. So we don't need to do anything here. So at this moment in time, the longest is currently C. And if you look in the string, that is inherently wrong because we have B and B here. And the reason for this is, is that our current solution, when we check for the palindrome, we are only checking odd length strings. So say when we check B, we check string of length one. And then if we expand outwards, we check string of length three. And then if we expand outwards again, if it was in bounds, we'd be checking a string of length five. So we also need to run an extra is pal for even length strings. So for example, rather than having the left pointer and the right pointer just on one string, we'll have the left pointer here and the right pointer here. So we can check if this is a palindrome. No, it's not. So what do we do? We move along. So we move a left and right pointer. Left and right pointer is now situated here. B, B is a palindrome. So we check if that's the longest. If that's greater than the longest length, it is. So we update the longest to be BB. Then we move along, check if BD 
is a palindrome, it's not, so then we can exit this. So time complexity for this algorithm is O n squared. We have a quadratic time complexity because we're looping through the string twice, one to compare odd length strings and one to compare even length strings. And space complexity is O of one. Even though we update the longest and we have space allocated here, this is used in the output, so it is not included within space complexity. Okay, so let's write this out. So we're gonna need the longest variable as an empty string. We're gonna have a helper function called ispal to check the palindromes. We're gonna pass in a string, left and right pointer. We're gonna have a while loop. So while left is inbound, so if it's greater than or equal to zero, and right is less than string.length, so right is also inbound. We also need to check whether s at left is equal to s at right. So if those two values are the same, then we know we have a palindrome. So we expand outwards. So left minus minus, right plus plus. Once we exit this while loop, we know that any further strings are not gonna be palindromes. So what we can return is the string slice from left plus one, because we don't want to include the current left value and right. And the reason it's not right plus one is because the slice method here is non-inclusive. So it doesn't include the current right value. So it goes up to the right value, but doesn't include it. Then we need to loop through the string. Run is pal for odd length strings and run is pal for even length strings. Store these in variables. So we could have first pal. Actually, what we'll do is we'll call it odd pal, even pal. And now we can work out the longest palindrome between the odd pal and the even pal. So longest pal is equal to odd pal dot length. So if the odd pal dot length is greater than the even pal dot length, then we return odd pal or we return even pal. Now we can check against the longest variable we set at the top on line seven. So if longest pal dot length is greater than longest dot length, we can update longest to longest pal. Finally, we can return longest and then let's give this a go. Okay, so that's been accepted. Let's submit it. And there you have it.